what's up you guys so it's your girl april and this video is going to end up being really crazy so first of all this is a first time for me ever working with this company which i do think is pronounced a yee yee hair and this unit is super long if i remember correctly it's 24 or 26 inches but it's straight i love the color combo that they did in it i already went ahead and bleached it it does come with this sewn inside of it and all that good stuff but while i cut the lace off of the nape i'm gonna show you how your unit comes from a yee yee hair. Okay, so this is where, you know, I'm thinking that the wig is supposed to stick on properly. As I stated, the hair is super long. I can't remember if it's 24, 26, but you'll definitely know by the time this video is over. I did bleach the unit prior to this part of the video and I pre-plucked the hairline also. Now being that the wig doesn't fall directly above my ears, it's a little bit too long. I'm just going to remove that excess lace. That way the wig will fit properly. And this is the excess lace that I'm showing you guys. I'm also going to repeat that same step onto the opposite side. As you guys see, there is a part and I'm just going to take my comb, my, excuse me, my scissors and just cut away at that lace. This is not going to mess the wig up. It will allow it to sit comfortably and may also help in the natural hairline method look. So this is the part where I decided I was going to, you know, just go ahead and spray the lace and just press into it as I blow dry it. I've done this method a few times. I'm not even sure why I decided to do it this way because my favorite way is making a part and then spraying in between the part. That always works for me. It just seems like it allows the wig to lay a lot flatter to your head and the lace is just laid out. But girl, listen, this is not even the, this is just the beginning for me with this unit. Now because the hair is so long, it seems like it was just tangling too much because it was just so long and the density of it is really nice. Like it's not thin, you know, they didn't, they did not skimp on the hair. It's a nice density. I love a nice full wig, but because it's so long, it did tangle a little bit much for me. But I really like the highlights the way they did, they did them. Except for there's a little patchy spot I did notice right there as I'm brushing that it could have been blended in a little bit better.
Now, as I'm cutting and removing the lace, I did notice that the unit is actually not adhering to my skin. And I also wasn't a huge fan of the lace color. It didn't look too transparent to me. So I actually had to go ahead and redo the hairspray part down. I also took my favorite styling mousse, which is from the Dollar Tree, to sculpt my baby hairs or my sideburn hairs into place. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lace on the forehead part and just go into just melting it, or at least trying to. did have to spray the wig down for a second time. Some wigs I noticed when you spray them and then try to blow dry them, the lace will turn like non-transparent, you know what I mean? But if you just let them dry on their own, they seem like they, they just dry, the lace dries much better, more transparent. That's in my eyes, you know, just was putting that out there. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and make me some, I don't know if you wanna call them baby hairs, but we're just gonna call them forehead hairs, hairline, hairline hairs, okay? Edges, whatever. We're gonna make some sculptage of them using my styling mousse from the Dollar Tree. Alright you guys, so now there's the part where I'm just going to put some curls into this, you know, just to stand away. I'm just going to show you on one side, but I, I, I try to make them big curls because I really didn't want to sit here forever to do this. So I made the curls kind of big, but this is the part where I just, oh, okay. So of course you're going to see me with a whole different attire on after I take the headband and stuff off. Well, you know my black elastic band. The very last file on this, um, on my memory card, ended up being some type of weird data file or something. There was no way for me to retrieve it, so I had to do the last part over. I definitely did the last part over a week later. I was not going right back to it, but I was so upset that I had to redo it. So, of course, you know, I did style it and, you know, curled it and all that good jazzy stuff. And like I said, the hair is extra long, the density is beautiful. But it was tangling a little bit for me like in certain areas until i was able to brush it out now i thought the baby hairs looked kind of cute right there girl i think they look rather cute and then this happened All right, you guys. So first of all, let me just let's let's just get into this real quick. I know I look totally different because, girl, and I'm not happy about this. Okay, so for one, I had to do the ending all over. I had to put the wig all back on. This is a whole week later. Um, when I was ready to edit the video, and I had put all the footage over, you know, for my memory card, the very last clip was like some type of corrupt file 
data file and there was no way for me to recover it so i had to do this part all over trust me when i tell you guys this was only supposed to be a voiceover i was not like ready to do like a second part of this but at least i get to talk and tell you guys how i feel about the wig so you know when i put it on a second time it was so much easier i think it's because i already had it kind of like custom fit um in the beginning like the first part of the video because the hair is so long, it just felt like it was just getting all over the place and it started to like, kind of like irritate me, but not really irritate me to the point. But the hair is silky, it's nice. I just wish like the lace was just a little bit um, more transparent for me because it's a little bit noticeable. But I like the way they did the color. They did a really nice job with the color and the pre-plucked hairline. It's kind of decent too, even though I did put my own little, you know, customization in it. Um, the density, like the volume is really good. Like I like the volume of it, but most of all, girl, I like this color. Like it's not fried. It's not dried out. It's a really nice color. It just was getting all over the place though. When I was trying to, you know, apply it, like install it. But for the most part, I like it. I noticed like a lot of baby hairs because I had to because of the lace. It seemed like in certain spots it wanted to be transparent and then in another spot it didn't. But I already knew what that was from. It was because I put it back on a second time. And this time, you know, even though I tried to clean the lace, there was still like my foundation. I thought I had enough of it. Like, you know, when I did my makeup today, I had a headband on to camouflage this part so that way I wouldn't put foundation up to here. But girl, I guess, you know, I know for next time. But anyway, totally different look. A whole week later. I'm just mad that my file was corrupt, but you get to see me for a second time. Okay. But yes, you guys, let me know what you think of this hair. Do you like the color? What about the install? The second time around? You know, I'm glad I didn't have to cut the baby hairs, though. You know, only thing I did was just reinstall it, and that was it. And just add a little bit of curl, but... It, it's all dropping, so I guess it don't even matter. But I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Now I'm about to go do another full video. And, yep, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Stay diva and divalicious. And on that note, I will see y'all in the next one.